cloud inversions, uh, also known as temperature inversions, are a mesmerizing phenomenon that captivates both hikers and photographers. In simple terms, a cloud inversion occurs when a layer of warm air traps cooler air and moisture beneath it. Uh, thus creating a surreal landscape where clouds settle in valleys or lower elevations instead of in the sky above. As you can see from my footage that I filmed in January 2024, uh, this effect transforms the scenery into a mystical, soft, marshmallowy dreamscape with clouds enveloping hills, mountains and other geographical features. If you've never caught a cloud inversion before, here are my five quick tips. Number one is to choose a high vantage point. Uh, if your chosen spot is too low, you may find yourself in the cloud rather than above it. It's very, very difficult to predict exactly how high those clouds will be. So the best bet is to find the highest vantage point that you can. Number two is to choose the right time of year to go hunting. Uh, late autumn and winter are the best times as the nights are longer and colder and there's usually plenty of moisture around. Even though cloud inversions can last all day and sometimes for several days, I suggest setting off as early as possible as they often clear during the day if the wind picks up. Tip number four is to look really closely at the weather forecast. Uh, what you're looking for is a period of calm weather with very little wind, uh, no weather fronts moving in, and high pressure is usually a sign uh, to look for as well. Uh, many weather services provide temperatures in the valley as well on the summits. So look for cold ground temperatures in the valleys. Also, if there has been rain recently and there's plenty of moisture around, you could be onto a winner. My final tip is to consider hunting for cloud inversions near large bodies of water. Uh, the Lake District in the UK is very well known for producing stunning winter cloud inversions uh, simply due to the amount of moisture on the ground that rises and gets trapped by that layer of hot air. I hope you found this short video insightful. I will put some links in the description of this video to sites that explain what to look for in more detail. Uh, also feel free to leave a comment for other viewers. All the best.